Receive the new stove to teach everyone to open the box installation. Above it has a pot holder and accessories and this fireproof cotton wall. Take it out first and then take the stove out. There's also a stove door assembly inside. Next, we check the accessories. Furnace door component. This is the pot rack ring. This is the accessory bag. Fire resistant cotton. Open the accessories bag and see what's in it. A data cable, a couple of wrenches, two screws. Check the fittings in the furnace. Pliers are used to hold wood. Spoon, add small wood, dust. It also has a stand for the pot holder free. Start assembling the pot holder. Bevel for external installation. Put all three of them in place. That's it. Let's put the pot rack on. This pot holder is used to enlarge the pot. Next, we'll install the stove door. Next, take out the stove door fittings and the stove handle. So much for accessories. Next, we started installing the stove door. First, loosen the screws with a wrench. Bring over the stove door accessories. Insert into the screw holder. Tighten the screw. Install stove door. Unscrew first. Put the stove door in its rack and tighten the screws. Rotate it. OK, stove door is installed good. Next, use these two screws. Install stove handle. Insert the handle into the stove and align it with the screw position. The screws are stuck and tightened. And lock it with a wrench. Tighten it up again. OK. And a spare sealed fireproof rope. If there's smoke in the back, you can replace it. OK, shall we look at the blower next? The blower can use two cans of power supply. One is the ordinary power bank. The other is the power cord. Turn on the data cable, plug in the power bank, and then plug in the blower. Then turn it on and listen for the sound. Try the power cord again. Find the plug, plug it into the power cord, and plug in the data cable. Plug in it on top of the blower. No problem, all installed. Remember to keep the accessories.